Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3 Masterless. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, it has been some time since our party has uh, started adventuring to the point where it's like, yes, it is only Ryu and it is only Gar. We can't go in this way. I hear the chrism mind here gets sent all around the world. I don't know the details, I just fix things. See? I would like to find a place to sleep. Because my party is a little bit weak. I suppose getting killed by a dragon is a lot like any other accident. Still, I hope I never meet another dragon. Doink. Nope. Thanks to you, we can get back to work. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. If you want to rest, you can use this room anytime. Oh, thank crap. Bed. <laughs> For some reason I forgot that that was the bed. I thought that the room with the save point was going to be the bed. But, anyways. We are rested. We are able. We are willing to fight. Uh, there was a couple of things back in the mines that I have forgotten, but it's mostly like... Kind of insignificant armor, I think. I think. Can't sleep, eh? I have to apologize to you, Ryu. Not only for trying to kill you, but I don't know if it's right to take you. To take you like this with me, as I search for God. But why did God see it fit to try and destroy the brood? That's a question whose answer you have a right to know. After leaving the mountain, we'll head east to Windia, and then to the eastern lands, to Angel Tower. Ah, uh, and now we get the really good overworld music. God, such good music. Also, a fishing spot. They say that some unusual fish live in the colder areas upstream. Eh, base. Alright. Now, over here, we actually have another opportunity to say hey, hello, hi to a master. Da -da. Da -da -da. He's got a little bit of an area up here, too, but, you know, there's nothing really important up here. Which is still true, because, you know, there's still a nothing, of a, nothing, nothing else about him, really. Daddy can't make any money. Now that the Contest of Champions is closed for good. Ooh, that sucks. Go, Amitai! Go, Amitai! 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 Looks like the battery's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dear, can't you do something about that big golem? Do you know how much money I spend on food every month? Yeah, this is Imitai. He can be a master for some pretty decent spells. Uh, however... Oh, we don't got the ability to use him because he's the master. And, and uh, he grants a lot of intelligence, but uh, in order to get him as a master, you need to give him 10,000 zinni. And, um, I only just got that amount back, so... No. Bum, bum, bum. Now I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Go ahead and double check on the fairy, shall we? It's only been like 10 years or so.
Hey, you guys should be able to handle whatever's up here. Oh! Grape, Jill, and Sylvie. How nice of them. Hi. There you are! Dummy, dummy, dummy. What have you been doing up until now? Uh... You're just a big meanie. Don't you know if you leave us alone, we'll die? Don't ever leave us alone that long again, dummy. Hey. You think I'm a dummy, don't you? This isn't like the forest. We can't take care of ourselves like we did there. Please, please, pretty please. You've got to tell us what to do. You don't need me to tell you what you have to do, right? Right. Okay, it's up to you now. So this is the fairies. Uh, yeah. They might actually be pretty, pretty important when it comes to this whole thing. But, for the now, uh, we are going to clear out a bunch of area. If we can. Who's good at clearing? You. You. And then we'll have you. Probably shouldn't have you hunt. Red is hunting. Oh, you all suck at hunting. Great. But yeah, you got different skills for different things, and they, uh... Oh boy, they might just die. Uh, but the way that the fairies work is that every so often, after so many fights, you can come back to the fairy village, and uh, they'll have birthed more people, ones will have died, places will have been built, developing new jobs and culture, which is pretty nice. But since there's only three of them right now, we pretty much just want them to start clearing out the place so that we can build stuff. Nothing to do, so I'm taking it easy. Excuse you. Get some, uh, get some stuff to do. Nothing to do, so I'm hanging around. We can also use these, uh, once we get in, in, in here, we can also use it as an impromptu, um, healing area for when we inevitably run out of, you know, HP and MP and all that fun stuff. Anyways, welcome to Sin City. This place is called Sin City. You can find whatever you're looking for here, for a price. I'm watching. What am I watching? Oh, this and that. Creepy. Everyone here's got something to sell. Me? I sell what's not on the menu. If you catch my meaty handsome. You know, if this were one of the other prior two games, I think she would have winked and smiled and did a little heart thing as she winked. Oh yeah. Uh, we got most of all this already. Ooh, steel gauntlets, though. Let's, let's get those. I don't know in what universe steel is better than mithril. Apparently this one. Wind cutter. Here's the psionics. Oh yeah, the silver knife was holy. Forgot about that. Got everything from diapers to tombstones. What do you need? Uh, neither of those. Should probably get a few more vitamins. The Panaceas. The dying would suck. Mumble, mumble, mumble. I'll teach you not to. You not to sell me junk like this. I'm gonna tell your boss about this. These weapons, sirs, contain the power of the mighty Ashura. Warrior God and our hand made by yours truly, the magnificent Sekine. 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 Ow. Yeah. Yeah. In embodies power of Ashura. I'm pretty sure that's good. Huh? Still, you give me a thousand city if I let you through. Eh, uh, I don't know. What? You didn't say that? Oh well. Or the bastard has been allowed through here. Well, seeing as we are neither. I guess we can just leave. 
Still, getting some new armor is pretty nice. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see. That this way leads to the checkpoints. Look at this place. So barren looking, isn't it? It's locked. It will see I'm home and stealing your stuff. Ah yes, a healing herb. Ever feel like that you're supposed to have been to a place earlier? No news is good news, they say. So boring here, nothing ever happens. I'd say that that's a good thing. But, you know, I guess that's me. And now we leave this place. Unless there's something over here. Nope. But yeah. We got a fairy village that we can tend to. We got another place that we can fish. Ah, another, another place we can fish. Silence is almost tangible in this hushed place. Piranhas, trout, rainbow trout, eh, metalo. We'll come back and do those two pla those two places in a uh, hot while. We ought to get a little bit of uh, adventuring on. So this is Ogre Road. And these are birds. <laughs> oh, mind flay. I actually want that. Mind flay, as you can see, works a lot like snap and whatnot, where once you get hit with it, your intelligence is reduced, which will be a particularly effective against uh, spellcasters. Ooh, hello. How do we get up there? Probably give, depending on how much MP it costs. Oh, I have Vagabond. Uh. Sir, you, you jumped the wrong party. Just saying. Yeah, depending on how much MP it costs, I might give that to Gar. How do I get up? To oh, it's going to be a windy thing over to the left, isn't it? Ah, another tricker. Nine kick. Flying kick is one of those interesting skills. It's based on a stat that's not your attack. It's agility. But at the same time, you're usually gonna have your agility be a lot faster. Er, your agility is not gonna be as big as your attack power. Horseradish. This will be important for later in the game. There it is. Yes. And we're attacked by... Ah, dang it. I was really hoping for more of those, um... Flashers. Might be pondering, hey, Dar, why don't you sample those two new ones... Two new genes that you got for Ryu. Uh, one of them we can't actually use with Gar. The fusion gene. Because, uh, what it does is it takes one of your party members... I think the one that's in the second slot? I'm not entirely certain how the formula of it works. Um, and it pretty much takes the attributes of that character, doesn't actually fuse them, takes the attributes of that character and makes it so as you have a form based on that character's abilities. Which is a really, really neat thing. It's rather... I guess specific in its use, I guess. Da, 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 da. I am so glad that we still got Gar with the uh Thank you, my Bob. Hourglass. Oh, that's a good one. So the hourglass will actually give you give that one character three turns to do more or less whatever they want. 
At least it's not blind again. Uh, but everyone else, I think, ends up stopping. Enemies, the rest of the party, the works. It's like that one character gets three turns. Which is a really neat ability. Or not ability. Really neat item. I don't think they have enough of them in this game. Yeah, mind play. Oh no, my IQ that I'm not using. Literally two characters in this game actually bother with IQ. <laughs> Everyone else is just listen to as hard as we can. Oh yay, berries. Uh, we're level nearly level 30. And we're still getting healing herbs and berries. Yeah, it checks out. I think there might be something over here. Oh wait, no. Unless this was just the path we took to get here. Unfortunately, the slashers are always going to go first, because... fast. Whether they live, on the other hand. That's another story. Oh yeah, I should check out Mindfly. Here we are. Yeah! Attack lowers intelligence. Yeah, I think I might do that. End up having Gar being the one that's all does attacks that reduces attributes, abilities. That seems like something cool for him to do. Besides just, you know, have spells of fire and whatnot that he... Oh, the Goo Titan. Oh, Goo Titan. Oh wait, not the Goo Titan. The Goo Titan has stuff that we can steal. Uh, I think it has a life gem? Yeah, that sounds about right. But on the other hand, uh, he's kind of a powerful uh, stir of sorts. Assuming he doesn't run away from his cowardice. Good reprisals. More berries. Uh, the other enemy that's in this general area, not here necessarily, is the... Hobgoblin, I think was its name. And that sucker uh, has power foods. If we really wanted to quote-unquote, correct a character's level like up process. But for the sake of this Let's Play, and the sake of this quote-unquote challenge slash run slash whatever you want to call it, I'm, I'm not gonna... not gonna do that. Not gonna grind for five centuries just to increase one creature's power or one character's power greatly. Tempting as it is. Not the monster? The tiger? You, sir, have a familiar color scheme. And that's the weird tiger. Whatever can hit him with a sleep. And snap. Hey, that's what I was doing. Okay, that's a lot of damage. That's also pretty good damage. Oh, the damn lowers the fans. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get a, um... Oh, 
focus. Ah, not asleep yet. Ah, that double blow though. Ah, nine damage, sir. I am a dragon. And he ran away. Darn it. Well, that was that. Ooh, more fishing places. One of the most popular fishing spots, just full of big fish. Puffers, trouts, eh. Yeah. Also, I think now we can just casually walk through the Ogre Road. And we don't have to go through that section again. Yeah. So, when I want to go fishing for the fish that are in that er other area, I can just be all like, ha hi and do so. Let's stop here for a sec. And see how the fairy's going. Again, the fairy's progress, uh, I believe, is based on how many battles you go through. That's a new on the message board. Okay. Help us, help us. Tell us what we should be doing to build our village. Yes. Yeah, okay. They are bad at hunting. God, you guys need more fairies. Absolutely nothing happened. Great. Let's see. I don't think anything particularly... ...important. Oh god. Anything else particularly important happens. Blue Goblins! Also, I can't help but realize that the blue, that all the goblins kind of look like they got poo on their head from their hair. You could say it's like a swirly whipped cream or something like that, but nah, man, that's poo. Or I might have just played way too much Digimon World. Might have been the latter. Eventually, I hope to play more Digimon World games. This time I won't put an incentive behind him, I'll just play him. Because I wanna. Ah, that was your shtick. That's fine. We're fine. But yeah, this is the area where you can find hobgoblins. I think, again, I think that was their name. And the Goo Titans. So you can pretty much just, you know. Two for one, uh, well, face off against creatures here. In the vain hopes of getting your characters powered up. Again, not in my plans. As tempting as it is. Da -da -da -da. In fact, I don't even. I think I might even just kind of focus on having the characters uh, I'm trying to think this one first I think I might focus on certain characters thinking about it what does that even mean I'm not even sure because <laughs> if I focus on Ray I know I'm going to want to get him to steal a bunch of stuff, which... I'm trying to think... I think most, for the most part, I only really would want to steal stuff from the bosses. Because otherwise, it's just a tedious business of going around and being all like, Hey, I need to steal this, that, and the other thing. You know, you know. 
Let me tell you. Stealing or waiting for enemies to drop certain things in this game are kind of... Because it's dependent on the character's agility stat. Which is affected by your... Um, which is affected by your equipment. The heavier your equipment, the lower your agility. So naturally, you might just want to make it so as your character is essentially naked. So now you're just imagining a naked one of your naked characters running around stealing some stuff. Uh, I love this game. Oh, beef jerky. I'd still like to find a hobgoblin just so as I can feel like, yes, that one. Gold hairpin. If I recall, either of you should be able to wield. I think it's a helmet. Specifically, a helmet uh, for Nina or. Yep, old hairpin. Or Nina or Momo. Now we go back up. This time we don't take the low road because the low road leads back to that road. Oh, actually, I kind of want to. I kind of want to just watch this for a second. Oh no, that's only with the hobgoblins. Never mind. Because the boss goblin will. Yeah, fun interaction with the rest of the goblins. If he's, if a boss goblin is in the party, uh, it will actually try to command a hobgoblin, and the hobgoblin will just ignore him and then attack the boss goblin. It's a little, it's just little additional interactions like that that make me go, hee <laughs> yes. Oh, jeez, Dar. Don't need to be that ruthless with the guy. Alright, so I believe we just need to go around here and there's no more items to be found. I think. Dun, 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 dun. Should be it, yeah. Bab. Good lord. That place always feels a little bit bigger, if only because of, uh... Because the random encounters sometimes are just like, meh. A uh, little additional thing. This hut, in the middle of nowhere. Can't sleep here. Take a healing herb. Another one of these strange teleporters, like what's at the bottom of Imitai's house. Let me sleep. I don't know. Guess we'll hit up a camp then. But I think I'm gonna hit up a camp and call it an episode. Because stuff will start happening again when we return. And then more to say? That monster, the tiger. Was it was like he was watching the road. What does he want? Is it connected with Sin City somehow? Probably. Anyways, what's the rest? All those HP and AP backs. Save call episode Ugh, when we return. We gotta go through McNeil in order to get back the way we were going, I believe. It's been a hot bit. Yeah, step outside. Better music. I.e. some music. But yeah. Gonna continue to the quests and uh 
see what's up with the rest of the party that we used to have. Excuse me. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.